Corner. Still seem happy in that one, don't they? Yeah, well, he's losing the rounds, but uh, he's keeping it interesting. Certainly. Third of four here. Garbo Vito hoping to end what would have been a very successful first year as a pro with another win. Opponent tonight, Aboti Amimi, visitor from Tanzania. Fight number 60. Oh, Ray Bautista along the way. David Kilu as well. Two other names scattered through that long record. How good is Vito? Certainly good coming forward. I mean, they've crammed a lot of fights into his first year as a pro, so we have to remember that it's only been a year. Yeah, some of what he does is pretty impressive. Just now and again, he loses his way and allows Amimi to take charge a little bit. This is good, moving forward, stepping in with the punches, being the boss. couple of times last month it's Rocco Cipriano stopping Francesco Capuano too why are they moving him so fast is that good at 20 I mean it's quite possible I maybe mean, a little rest is what he needs I mean you can uh, just be overworked I mean obviously if his boxing is off as this 12 times uh, Ten months, then he's never out of the gymnasium, so you become a little bit fed up. Sometimes you have to recharge the batteries. But uh, over the four-round distance, and, and I suppose he must be busting with ambition at the start of his career. But he's boxing well again now. Good in the opening round, flat spot in the second round, but then he's uh, revving things up again now. Big arcing, right hands, well, double veto. with those long arms utilizing the ring there he's got something about him hasn't he yep moves around nicely and uh, good variety of punches he's not the same snap in the punches at the moment he's breathing a little bit heavy i just wonder maybe a little break over the christmas and new year period is what he needs we just spend a couple of weeks out of the gymnasium, just got the, the, the batteries recharged again. Yeah, surely they'll give him Christmas Day off, Jim, I think. I would imagine. I mean, a lot of what he's done has been quite impressive, but I have to remember, he's only a kid, he's 20, he's just turned pro. So there's a fair bit of uh, maturing to be done. Have to step into the right hand now. Yeah, and maybe he has been around. He knows the game may extend the veto the distance tonight. Just keep it tight, keep the defence as tight as he's been doing and uh, step in with the punches and try for the, the remainder of the, the, the last round. Keep him even on his back foot. That way Vito will really be in charge. It's when he allows Amimi to come forward that sometimes he gets a little bit scrappy. Fourth round, fourth fight of the year for Abote and Meme, and unbelievably the 13th for this youngster Garbor Vito. Being fast tracked. Started extremely well and positively in the opener. Can he finish in style?
trying to. I mean, this is good from Vito. He's stepping forward, but beating the Mimi head on, not allowing them to push forward. This is better. Good body shots, too. Not a great deal of power on them, but placing them nicely. up, blocking some of these. So use that speed advantage, Vito, try and open it up again, the Tanzania. Body shots, that's sensible in the final round. Yep, showing some nice variety now. We have to just keep in mind that he's only a kid, he's only 20, this is his first year as a pro. I mean, I don't know that I see a lot of star quality in what he's done, but uh, you, you can't make your mind, obviously, in one viewing. He does stand tall, amateur traits. But speed is good. Yeah, trying the uppercut there. Yeah, push the punches together nicely. Some good movement, so certainly a lot to work with. Good prospect. Maybe they're just working him a little bit too hard. There may be 13 fights over a 10-month period. Maybe just uh, what he needs is a little break. And it's the right time of year to be getting that rest. Both working hard. And they have done throughout this short four-rounder. <laughs> Trying to set up that right hand, doesn't he, Vito? <laughs> Bit scrappy with some of the combinations that were cleaner earlier on. And Amemi survives to the final bell. Good work out there for uh, Garbor Vito. Celebrates. He will remain unbeaten. And it's been a, a good first professional year. Yep. Uh, another fight that's uh, gone the distance, which is maybe good news for him as well. Maybe he's having things too much his own way with the 10 stoppages. But he had to work to get his victory tonight. And that's the kind of matches you like for young fighters at this stage in their career. Punching was crisp in the first couple of rounds. Maybe lost some of the snap uh, as the rounds went by. But uh, a good victory, nevertheless. And here, my sehr verehrten Damen und Herren, liebe Boxsportfreunde in Bern, das Urteil des Kampfgerichts. Punktrichter Beat Hausermann wertet den Kampf 40 zu 36. Bernd Hupfer wertet diesen Kampf ebenfalls 40 zu 36. Und das macht auch Oliver Brien 40 zu 36. Und damit einstimmiger Punktsieger aus der roten Ecke aus Ungarn, Gabor Veto. They won every round there. Gabor Veto, the Hungarian. 13 straight victories. And look out for him in 2010.